This is my smart notebook lesson. And this is my theme page. The theme is around the house. Here I would introduce the theme and then we would talk about the different rooms that are in our house and some of the objects that you would find in each room. I have the Common Core Standard listed at the bottom. It's for first grade language. It says with guidance and support from adults, I can demonstrate understanding of word relationships. The next page is the first room, in the kitchen. Here we talk about different items that you would find in the kitchen. For example, I would say, spoon. What is a spoon? Is that normally something that you would find in a kitchen? If they say yes, they would move that item over to the box. So we're going to list all the items that you find in a kitchen in this box. On the next page is in the bedroom. We have a picture again of the bedroom and we're going to go through the different items. A sink. Do you normally find a sink in a bedroom? Well, no. You don't normally find a sink in a bedroom. So we'll leave that there. Okay? But what about a lamp? Yes, you normally find a lamp in a bedroom. What do we use a lamp for? Well, we use it for light. Okay? And as a side note, um, or a side lesson, I might have them to label these into the picture, for example, lamp, because I teach English language learners, and so building any sort of vocabulary and labeling pictures is always helpful. So we identified that the lamp would go in a bedroom, so we would go ahead and we'd put the lamp over here in the box. So we're going to put all the things in the bedroom into that box. Next page is in the living room. Okay? There are some things that you would find in the living room. Would you find a chair in the living room? Well, yes. Even there's a chair in the picture. So you would move that over to the box. <coughs> okay? Um, coffee table might be something that I would have them label. Okay, because that might be a new vocabulary word for them, something that's not common for them um, to know or to pick up on. Okay, and then the last room is in the bathroom. Okay, what are some things that you find in the bathroom? Do you find a bath towel in the bathroom? Well, yes. What do you use a bath towel for? Or to dry off after you shower. Okay, so we move that over there. Also, I might have them to, again, um, put the word where they would normally find that object in the picture. For example, where would you find a toothbrush? Where you would find a toothbrush uh, near the sink. So, they might move that over there. And then, would you find a toothbrush? You'd find a toothbrush in the bathroom. Okay, so we're going to move that over to all the items that go in the bathroom. Okay, and if they say maybe a table goes in the bathroom, okay, well, do we normally find a table in the bathroom? No, it's not common, but where would we find a table? So then we think about the different rooms that we've talked about. You say, well, we might find a table in the kitchen. You eat at a table. Or we might find a, ki uh, a table in the living room, okay, um, different things like that. But basically, we would be categorizing things and putting them over into the box uh, to make sure that we know all the different things that would go in each room. Okay. Um, thank you for listening to the lesson.